Hey Tinashe, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, man. How's it? I am great. It's fantastic to have you here. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> it's good to be here. <laughs> so you are a TechZim CEO. Mm. What else? Is there anything else that people should know? Or we're just going with TechZim CEO. TechZim CEO, husband. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No funny business here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess. Um, yeah. So I mean, like, so, so, so TechZim is, it's, um, of, of course, related to other um, brands that we, that we run, like uh, Pindula, yeah. Soccer24. So all those are rolled up into uh, one business called Controvert. Yeah. Uh, so I'm CEO of Controvert. Um, yeah. And then the other units, they don't have CEOs. They have uh, operational heads. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's that's interesting. So yeah, w our conversation is mostly going to focus on on tech team, but I think some of these questions will apply to varying degrees to uh, Pindula and Soccer Twenty Four, as you said. All right, that's fine. Um, and so, tech team is an interesting business because I worked there <laughs> for <laughs> yeah. three years between uh, beginning of twenty eighteen and mm -hmm. end of twenty twenty. Yeah. And the people who know and love TechZim know and love TechZim. And then there's like a subsection who just actually don't know it exists. It's, yeah. it's a very weird thing. Mm. Um, what problem is, is being solved at TechZim? Oh, okay, so, so the problem has been uh, for the past 13 years, yeah. there's always been uh, about the opportunity of the internet. We, we believe the opportunity of technology uh, broadly, but uh, the internet specifically. Yeah. We we really believe in in the power of technology to transform society, transform business, and we believe we've, we're only just scratching the surface right now yeah. uh, in terms of taking advantage of what technology can do. Yeah. So um, so that has always been our belief, and that's what we attempt to unpack, um, to demonstrate. Uh, even in, through our own business, you know, our own operation, yeah. um, you know, we want to succeed so that we are also an example that, hey, you know, you can actually do this. There's an opportunity. Yeah. yeah um, and then the content that we do is about that. You know, this is what's going on. This is what you can utilize. And even when we are covering businesses, we're analyzing their business models or business, whatever they're doing, their products. Yeah. We're just doing that to say, you know what, the ecosystem can be stronger. Um, and here's what, so it's not just for, you know, the, the techie type yeah. people. But it tends to be that assumption. Yeah, there tends <laughs> to be that assumption. But, but yeah, no, it's even for someone who just wants, you know, a simple, uh, tip on hey i want to buy a phone i have 100 bucks what's the best what 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 what's the best for me you okay. know and, and so it's, it can it's it's from that you know like so person on the street to you know like a business executive who's yeah. saying okay how does the internet threaten my business or how does how the does internet it? give me an opportunity um what can i do how do i prepare and, and stuff and so, okay. um yeah yeah, I, I, I like something you said there where you said, you said two things, <laughs> which... Oh, I said only two. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> two I want to go into now. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. Um, you said you guys have been around for 13 years, mm. which could be translated by some as an eternity, but then you also said we are only scratching the surface. Mm. <laughs> That's daunting as someone who's also trying to now build a media business. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, and you're hearing someone who's like 13 years <laughs> in the game <laughs> saying, ah, no, Tichiro. Yeah, like, what? Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, like, um, so, so yeah, I, I, think, I think it's early days of the internet, um, uh, to be honest. Yeah. Um, there's just um, going to be a rapid transformation, like across society, right? Yeah. Um, I think media has been uh, the forerunner. Yeah. Uh, in terms of how we produce media, how we consume media, how do we distribute media? Yeah. Um, so you know, you're streaming. you so those changes that is that have happened in the media business. You know, where you know the newspaper was so dominant. You know, a yeah. very influential <laughs> um, piece of technology. You can call it a technology, right? Um, but uh, not so much. 
uh, anymore, you know. Not anymore. <laughs> yeah, you know, a kid on TikTok has more influence has more, yeah. than the Herald yeah. uh, sometimes, you know, depending on what the issue is, right? Um, that change that we have seen with media, and I, I don't think it's, we are halfway when it comes yeah. to media anyway. Yeah. Uh, but we, we expect that same change in medicine and, uh, you know... So many other industries. Yeah, or, and even or, in politics. You know, yeah. I, you know I, I think <laughs> politics has changed because of, because of, the, of the internet. You know, like, uh, love him or hate him, Donald Trump could never have been president without... in, an era, <laughs> in an era without the internet. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, there's a thing that I think there's an exaggeration about it. Hey, uh, Cambridge Analytica, you know what, the impact was, was minimal. But the internet allowed, allowed propagation of uh, a message that is more on the extreme. Because before the yeah. internet, the <laughs> voice that could only get through was a center. Yeah. You're, you're, you're neither extreme left or extreme, extreme right you're somewhere in the center because there was someone who would control what gets across. Yeah. And the newspaper person wants to reach as many people as possible, so ah, they don't so want to offend anyone. They're kind of in a yes. safe space. So they will not go, they will not <laughs> propagate anything extreme left or anything or extreme, extreme right. right. Because they want the maximum number of people buying their newspapers and yeah. viewing their ads. Yeah. So you see, like, that's and now you can just go direct exactly as, so, as extreme as possible. Yes. <laughs> and in fact, extreme works because extreme yeah. <laughs> drives engagement. Whether people are saying, yeah, you son of a bitch, or you this yeah. or that. Um, and the algorithm can't pick up what's bad or what's good. Yeah, they, it, the they see engagement and they're like, yeah. let's push it out. To yeah, let's, people. yeah, you know, people, oh, seem people to are love on fire this. about this. <laughs> let's go. Let's go, you know. So. <laughs> So, th so that's a huge change, right? Yeah. Um, so that's what, uh, that's what I mean by, you know, we're only, we've only just scratched the surface because understand. every sector, you know, so I gave this extreme example of politics so that just to demonstrate that, you know what, this, um, this tool. you would not <laughs> think that, you know, uh, politics would have changed so much. So, so, so drastic. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and I think I do, I do believe that because even when you look at the, at the numbers of like penetration, especially in the context of Africa and Zim, mm -hmm. you know, we have such a long way to go. Yep. And I do believe, well, at least I hope, because mm -hmm. I will be a direct beneficiary, that the internet does become like a commodity that yeah. every single person like, really yeah. has access to. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, I think it's coming yeah, because <laughs> people are demanding it, right? Yeah. So, 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 so they'll eventually get it. The solutions will be there. Yeah. And so in the in the 13 years uh, that you've existed, because like you said, media got disrupted. Mm -hmm. But even in that disruption that has allowed new players into the game, uh, mm -hmm. even the new players face a lot of hardship when it comes to sustainability. Yeah. So you being 13 years old, I know you downplay it, but that's like kind of a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> it, it really is. And so what I'll, what, I'll, what I'll then ask you is, what do you think has been done right in the context of, of, of TechZim uh, that has allowed you not only to survive, but to actually grow and, and, and become a sustainable business? Um, I think um, it has largely been uh you know like having an identity and and and, and sticking to to that identity yeah, yeah uh, please explain that a bit more um so just uh understanding who we are um so 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 there have been mistakes that have been made uh even with emerging media businesses in this country yeah. um one of those is uh you know chasing chasing the the buck uh, re regardless, you know, of what or, you put out. <laughs> exactly, and, and or, or what you are then made to do. So, you know, having people pay you to say something yeah. Uh, yeah. that you don't actually believe. Uh, so, so you can't sustain that over time because people can see through that. People, yeah. <laughs> um, so, 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 yeah, I mean, so we, we're not perfect, right? But we have... Uh, we've done the best we could uh, in in being our authentic selves, so people can see that, so people can connect yeah. with that. And over time, 
you then get respect uh, and you also then get um, in, in loyalty and, and allegiance and yeah. um, because because people can connect with that. Um, so so I would think that's the number one thing. Yeah. Just that, uh, just that authenticity. Sticking to it. Yes, and, and just saying and and, and, and and having that trust. That, that's the word I was looking for. Yeah. Uh, when when people trust you, you can build on that. Yeah, fair enough. Mm. I think yeah, I think I hear that. I I really do hear that. Mm. And then <laughs> we so running a media business in general, especially in the information space. Hmm. Because of the internet, it's become so hard because there are so many players, right? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. But then there is that, which is a hardship on its own and what we've explored a bit. But hmm. there's also the running a business in <laughs> the context of Zimbabwe, <laughs> our lovely country. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, when I was in grade one, I think uh, percussion band you see, uh, my lovely country is Zimbabwe. <laughs> bing, bing. I don't know how many people are still singing that. Yeah, day. I don't know why. <laughs> like, you know, like, but I, I never made it into the percussion band, you know, like I was not, <laughs> I was not, not like the teacher's pet. <laughs> no, yeah, because it was for, you know, the, 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 the oh, nice like you kids felt it was, stuff. Did you feel like it was propaganda even then? No, I wanted to be in the percussion band. <laughs> ah, no, I wanted to hit them <laughs> drums. Ah, they call drums, you know, yeah. this little... Psh, psh. Let me not lie. Let's call them drums for the sake of progress. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure people in the comments love that. So mm. someone will be like, how dare you call them drums? <laughs> yeah, but they are those little things that they eat. <laughs> So in terms of um, just being in, in, in Zimbabwe yeah. as a media business, um, what are the biggest challenges you faced during your tenure at, 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 at Texim and, and Controvert since you said Pindula, Soccer 24, I feel there might be similarities in terms mm. of the challenges you faced there. Um, so, you know, of course, uh, like just the instability, right? You cannot... You cannot predict anything in this country. Yeah. Um, you, you know. Um, so, so of course, I mean, anywhere in the world, uh, you, you have to expect change. Yeah. Um, but yeah, in there's there's some some degree of of change. You know, like <laughs> there's this. You no know, there's, there, there are bands. You know, like. <laughs> It takes a, a pandemic, you know, to, to, to move yeah. from a certain uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. threshold to something else. Something else. Um, but in this country, oh no. We have pandemics <laughs> on the uh, I, I, I think I think a pandemic <laughs> is actually a little bit better, you know. You, you kind of know what you're dealing with yeah. when it's a pandemic. But, you know, the policy can just change overnight. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. know, yeah. the uh, cur operational currency can just change. Uh, oh, yeah. That's, yeah. I think that happened a couple of times when I was still at TXM. Exactly, yeah. You're flipping to ZW and then to US. Yeah, and, and then, yeah. you know, like, we don't even know what to call the currency, you know? Because at some point it was called RTGS dollar, and then now ZW, they're saying there's US nothing called RTGS dollar. <laughs> uh, but you called it that, you know? And, uh, yeah. That, so it's yeah. it's crazy. So so um, So it's that. Like, that is the biggest, biggest challenge. Just... Uh, predicting what what will happen tomorrow, you know. Someone owes yeah. you money uh, in a certain currency, and then you are told, "Ah, no, they mm. actually don't owe you yeah. that much in that currency." That's one of the more painful instances. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, it's it's it, it is a challenge. Yeah. yeah. And I, and I hear that a lot from people. And it's just hitting me now that uh, one question that I've, I've never really pushed and asked people is. Mm -hmm. As businesses, is there, are you in any way, do you have any capacity to actually influence this stuff or nah, it's not really possible? It's a, it's a hard one to, to answer. Yeah. Um, you, you know, one of those yes and no types. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so... N no, in terms of um, smaller businesses, uh, yeah. startups particularly. So, 
Yeah, I, I hate the term SME. Why? Because in this country, <laughs> when they say SME, they mean informal business. Not that I have disrespect for, no, I actually respect like informal, informal the informal sector. They're keeping the lights on in this country. Yeah. Um, but you see, you are bunched in, so. Ah, like even you guys are in there when you're not? I know. So, 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 so when, you know, we, we are a formal business, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, but whenever they are talking about SMEs, ah, we're doing something for SMEs. They are talking about uh, building musika for someone. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, that's the level that they're talking about. So, so sometimes it's, it's, it's very difficult. So, 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 so smaller formal businesses, they don't really have a, a platform a where, where they can. So you have your, your listed companies, they can engage at a certain uh, level. level. And even when government says they're engaging business, I mean, I, I always laugh, you know. Uh, maybe there's a monetary policy, dead man, yeah. and then the RBZ governor says, you know what, we're engaging. So they, ca they call them captains of industry. I don't even want to know what that no means. No one knows what it means. Yeah. And no um, one can tell you. No one could point at it. Yeah, <laughs> but when we look at the numbers in terms of employment, those are not the biggest employers on aggregate. Yeah. We are yeah. the, the smaller businesses. Um, oh, yeah. So on aggregate, when we look at everything, they should be paying more attention to us yeah. and not to these big guys. Yes, they might employ a thousand people. Yeah. Uh, but on aggregate, how many of them are there? Are they? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then you just multiply by a thousand. But then, you know, there are hundreds yeah. of thousands of us. Of small businesses. You know, <laughs> some are employing 10, some 5, some 3, but it but adds up. It adds up in that yeah. sense. Um, so that engagement doesn't happen. So that's the no part. Yeah. And then the, the yes part? The yes part is. You know what? You can always do what you can. Um, you know, uh, when you know someone who is willing to give you an EA, maybe it's actually a relative. Mm. Just tell them the issues. Uh, sometimes it gets through. Sometimes it's not that maybe they don't care. A lot of times it feels like they don't care, <laughs> right? But sometimes it could be that you know what, there's somebody who cares, which is just not our way. Yeah, just an issue of ignorance. Yeah, so, so, so you can do what you can. And us as a media business, as a media business, we, we have yeah. seen that, you know, like we have seen stuff that we write about uh, actually making a difference. Turn into something. Is there anything yeah. that you can think of off the top of your head you could give me as an example of like something you wrote about and there was like a direct domino? Yeah. I yeah so 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 you know what I I want to be careful with that because yeah. you you also then don't want to be cocky and say ah yeah so you know <laughs> we never change Jesus. yeah you know, change makers yeah no, you no, know <laughs> so 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 I I, I want to be careful about that um, but yeah we've we've seen the central bank yeah um, they seem to to pay attention. Uh, to us, not, so, so not in a direct uh, way where they would then say, hey, you guys just, just said this. Uh, but yeah. we have seen uh, a few times, uh, but uh, enough times to then say, huh, this might not be a coincidence. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that is encouraging. Um, so would not, you know, then toot a horn and say, you know, we're... we're no, no, that's actually what yeah. I was going to say is um, maybe in the sense that you see something in the world and, and it humbles you to be like, ah, oh, we might have played a part in that. That's yeah. like so fulfilling. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it is. Yeah. Not in a uh, John Cena wearing the title type entrance way. No, no, no. We've talked about um, the challenges of, of running a, a, a content business in the context of them. But one of the things with me is like, I am, um, I, um, I think of myself as a fairly positive guy. <clears throat> and, and sometimes there's an overemphasis hmm. on uh, these ne negative uh, narratives. Of course, yeah. we have to like explore them because they're yeah. there. Hmm. But they're obviously 
there's obviously a reason you do this for like you talked about uh, the opportunity of the internet mm. are there any other things that you see that give you like hope in terms of in that media space where you're like yeah this is this really gives me energy to keep uh, doing the work that we do yeah so so you know like you're saying you know there's negative narratives and and and, and, and stuff right yeah um but you see like anything negative this this it's, it's always like you know your, your yin yang thing right yeah um <laughs> that negative means means a positive in, you know in some other regard <laughs> yeah because then means opportunity right yeah. uh so so that's how uh so you're saying you're a fairly positive guy oh i mean ultra positive guy yeah um, <laughs> Yeah. So so yeah, it it takes that, you know, to to then build it, to, to build like stuff and, and, and to <laughs> to do the stuff that we do to 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 keep at it. Yeah. Uh yeah. it takes just that belief that hey, you know what? There is some something there. So so yeah, like uh, for for media specifically, <laughs> yeah. It's it's really um the fact that you know what we 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 we're not yet reaching everyone uh so so like you say one of the things you know i was speaking to uh, like at some event organized by CZI. yeah um and the example i was giving was that so growing up yeah uh, uh grew up in the 90s right yeah. uh we used to go gumosha quite a lot uh more times than i wanted <laughs> mother listen um but um we used to go there um and there were there was a huge cultural difference between the city and the rural yeah so i distinctly remember uh there was this guy who was employed by my uncle as a kettle header. Yeah. Um he, he was not much older than I was. So I'd go I, I I liked the guy quite a lot. Yeah. Uh so would then have this cultural exchange between him and I ah. when it comes to music, right? Yeah. I would tell him about music that's buzzing in the city and then he would teach me he so I think he was of Malawian descent because yeah. he would teach me these nyanja songs. There's one of them I will not sing it uh, <laughs> because I, I I think I probably don't remember the words you might, accurately. You might end up insulting uh, yeah. Malawi people. <laughs> ah, those words I don't yet see right now. So, so but he, 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 there's there's one song I mean that he taught me, yeah. and then in Nini the one song that I remember teaching him was uh, well you're too young to remember Fortune and Parusa. But uh, he had a song it's kind of 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 so 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 I, I I would teach him that and and then he would teach me this right yeah and that was in the 90s um then I started noticing like uh three years ago I started frequenting Kumusha now uh, by on my own volition yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um and so when I was going Kumusha um I'd see these kids, and they'll be singing the same songs that I hear in the city. Yeah. You know, they didn't need me to bring them with no fresh. You don't have to be a taste, taste maker anymore. <laughs> yeah, you know, I was like, what the hell? And and that's how Zim Danso. So you see, Zim Danso has become the biggest genre in Zim yeah. because it, it's kind of uh, it, 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 like. People in the ghetto in the cities can identify with it, and also people in the rural areas can yeah. identify. Museve could not do that. So, yeah. Museve was yeah. kind of locked yeah. into even Sungura uh, as well. Yeah. No, Museve and also Sungura Gamtara. Okay, we're on the same page. <laughs> yes. Uh, so so Sungura, right? It was more rural. Yeah. And then was with all people like me, you know, who. I'm a Cheso fans. Yeah. But you see... <laughs> That's such a controversial thing to say. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. Yeah, you <laughs> see. Uh, but then there were city boys like you, you know, could not yeah. 
But uh, I was big on Zim Dance. Yes, but I you're big on Zim Dance. You see that? Still am, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I was thinking about it. I was like, what is cost this? So one of the things is like, flip, it's WhatsApp. Yeah. Because the internet. these kids, <laughs> right, would also gather around. So I had this, this privilege to be with this family, Kumusha Vogo. Yeah. And like, oh, there were many kids. And then with the mother, and then evening time, so battery is a problem, and she, but evening times, the phone, the phone would have been charged somewhere, yeah. and, she, and then they're not going through, like, these little skits and stuff. The same skits that people in the cities are exposed to. Are exposed to, yes. Yeah. You know? And they're playing these songs, the same songs, so, so I was like, flip. This is a bridge. <laughs> That's what the internet has done. Yeah. It is now making even the market larger for us. Yeah. So where they needed to be this cultural exchange, city boy bringing his Kanamatombo <laughs> song and rural guy bringing his Nyanja song, now... It's, it's, it's much, much yeah. quicker. You see? You don't have to be there on the ground. Exactly. So there are those opportunities. You, yeah. you see? So right now, I think much of, much, of, much of that transfer is urban to rural, right? Yeah. But flip. How about rural, rural stuff that's urban. interesting? <laughs> that <laughs> urban people are not exposed to. Yeah. You know? Uh, and that content can be created. Someone heading gods. Yeah. Yeah. Singing songs to gods or whatever it, <laughs> whatever, it is, whatever it is they they doing. Is, they're doing, you know, yeah. and that you can just connect with someone. So those are the opportunities. Yeah, uh, it's it's wild that you say that and you give that as an example because one, uh, I don't know if you remember, there's a time when I was still at Texas, I went to Jerera and I came back and I was so shocked. I'm like, man, how do these people live like this? <laughs> <laughs> like they don't have this half the time. Mm. And, and I was just shocked, right? Mm. But uh, more to the example you gave, um, there is a Chinese influencer. She should be Chinese. Um, mm. <clears throat> who is doing exactly what you're saying. She uh, left her, her job in the city and went to live in rural China and started documenting how they mm. live there. And she's huge. Yeah. She's so huge. So it's yeah. just dope that you, you mentioned yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, I mean, because, because, I mean, like, kids your age going uh, low, uh, like, who, have grew, grew, who grew up in this city, a lot of them actually yeah. do not even have any, you Idea. know, connection to rural. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, they'll be fascinated. So I was, I was, I was amazed, like, the other time when my sister was telling me my nephew went to Kumushai and he was just so interested in cattle like <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> and it seems like a normal thing to you it, it, because it is, yeah growing up you exactly. had that yeah <laughs> so now so it means we we need to be you know showcasing some of this there should be more there's a gap there yeah there's an opportunity yeah. there so 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 yeah it's just one example yeah uh, yeah yeah and, and i and from your definition of you know people working in these spaces i from now on i term myself an ultra positive guy as well because yes i am working in these spaces as yeah. well <laughs> yeah. and then in terms of business models business models are particularly tricky uh business models for me are fascinating because i like the challenge Mm. But at the same time, I do not like the challenge. <laughs> of <laughs> because it is so difficult. Mm. <laughs> and so in terms of, of, of business models, um, we're going to play a bit of a, let's call it a game. <laughs> oh. Yeah, uh, figuring out sustainability for you guys. Maybe give me one attempt of, at, at monetizing that you explored and you're like, yes, this is the one. We've hit the nail on the head. And then give me one where you thought this is the one mm. and it just fell flat. Can I give you maybe an obvious one? Yeah, it's uh, fine. That's <laughs> then it's, it's obvious to you and maybe to me. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, so, I mean, you know the story, um, yeah. uh, you know, if you haven't worked with sex and uh, advertising, you know, uh, uh, content and, and, and stuff because, you know, um, you having uh, local businesses say, hey, you know, you seem to be having a, creating an audience here. Yeah, people seem to be engaging what you're doing. 
yeah. can we show ads because this was just an organic thing right like oh, in the guys, history yeah. of Texim you know uh, that you know it was Texim was just a passion thing like you know this 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 opportunity of the internet needs to be shared about right yeah. uh but then when you start having a, uh, an, an audience and then people say yeah well can we place ads there and stuff and and before you know it you have a business yeah, model business. <laughs> <laughs> you know uh and you're selling ads uh and yeah at some point uh right on get fire right yeah but the the problem with ads was one you're saying you you have an audience and 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 you care about this audience and these people are coming because of the audience so meaning the most important thing in the equation so we we normally don't call it a, an audience it it takes them we call it a community yeah the most important thing is the community itself yeah uh because without it this person does not come no to you. <laughs> yeah uh, they don't care about you. It's not like they say, "Yeah, I like you guys. Yeah, Let me like just you give so you money." You know, no, they, <laughs> that's real. They want eyeballs, <laughs> right? Um, but then there's a conundrum there because if the most important uh, group is the community, yeah, but online people hate ads. Yeah, they tend to be. Yeah, <laughs> I hate ads. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, now for me. I think maybe it's a bias because I've been exposed to the business. Yeah. yeah. I I just understand yeah. that it's kind of so so for me I'm mm. a, I'm a different member of that community uh, because okay. of that exposure. But I I definitely agree like people generally mm. do not like ads. Yeah. Well, I hate them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh yeah. If I go to a website and there's just too many ads, too many. I I switch off. <laughs> um so so then uh, that's a problem there you know <laughs> you you the way you make money is something that it's is affecting. hated by the community that gives you the opportunity to make money so so it wasn't going to work so that's one of the problems yeah and then number two locally oh there's been a lot of pressure there's there, there was a lot of pressure um when you have brands uh that then they've given you you know ad, ad ad business yeah uh and then they therefore think that they should control what you say narratives yeah <laughs> so ah no i didn't like what you said ah yeah yeah but uh that's how we feel about this yeah. because texim is always uh written with an opinion yeah uh so so yeah you know so so you have sometimes eh, but stick to your media be be objective yeah there's nothing too called objective opinion. you know <laughs> i actually believe an opinion is truer than the so called objective yeah because an opinion <laughs> is outright hey this is what i believe but objective because as human beings we are biased <laughs> yeah. so even when i think i'm being objective I'm biased. I'm not. So I may as well then just go full on lean into. Yes. Yeah. So so that's how Texim has always been. Yeah, because so, yeah, we used to get a lot of that, a yeah. lot of too much opinion. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Oh, why are you here? Yeah. This is the home of opinion. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I mean like so we want to be fair of course and 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 stuff so we yeah. don't want to dump on people's products and stuff. Yeah. Within um, reason. <laughs> yeah. But there would be that conflict and we would always choose our community yeah. we would always refuse that kind of pressure to say no we will not say what you want we will say what we believe because our community trusts that we say what we think yeah uh, and yeah. we yeah. would then say you know what the moment we do what you are asking us to do we lose that community and you will not care about us yeah uh so yeah some some would then go to other media brands and find someone who's willing to do that kind of transaction go they do that. but it's not sustainable even for that guy who was taking that money because <laughs> the moment you take money from brand A to do some some work for them <laughs> a right job of sorts. yes <laughs> the moment you do that right when then they see you right against them they would then say 
no, this person is up for sale. So someone else has paid them. Yeah. You see? But with us, yeah, some would say, yeah, you're getting paid. But over time, they would then it realize, huh? Yeah. No, they you know what? get paid by everyone. Yeah, like every, <laughs> you know what? Every time we've tried to pay these guys, they've refused. Yeah. So, you know what? If they believe this, then probably they believe. Maybe we may not agree or whatever, but you retain your respect, right? Yeah. Uh, but it's, it, it came at a cost. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. It, it sounds like leaving a lot of money on the yeah, table. Yeah, it, it, it came at a cost. And, 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 and yeah, so, so, so some would then say, ah, you know, and then they, they don't want to give you that ad business. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, it is, it, to be fair, it is a bit embarrassing that you offer someone a bribe and they... Not let's not call I, it a bribe. Yeah, okay. yeah, you, yeah. You, 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 you offer them an incentive. Them. Exactly. <laughs> and then they don't, they're not yeah. as enthusiastic as yeah, you yeah. So, they so, would. So, yeah, it, it may yeah. then feel like an accusation, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. what are you saying yeah. about me? Yeah. Yes. Um, so, but so, also, that's something to, to explore because if something hasn't been said outright but you feel it, then... Uh, yeah, so, 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 <laughs> so there was that. So, so there was a problem with that. But, yeah. but not just that. I, I like, so that is a particularly Zim problem. There's, 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 there's that. Like a lot of that happens. Yeah? Yeah. Brown envelopes yeah. and stuff. It, it, it happens. And, and when you choose not to operate in that economy, you, you cut yourself off you know because there are some who say you know what uh it's not even about the narrative it's about you know what i'll make sure that you get business from this company but you when you get paid you just wasn't owner yeah and we would refuse such things because we are here for the long haul eh? so we don't want easy money that yeah we'll line our pockets today but then we lose our credibility, we lose our voice, yeah. which is the more important the thing. The most important thing. So there's that, right? But then advertising itself, besides community hates it, Politics. besides the pressure, <laughs> besides the fact that uh, in Zim, B2B is sometimes hard because my business, I got to make wow. So you, you sell them <laughs> advertising space and then they don't pay you for nine months. Yeah. You know? Uh, and, and sometimes you'd know, could see, it's not that they don't want to pay you, yeah. but sometimes they just didn't want to pay. So, yeah. so there's that, there's, yeah. there's, there's power dynamics at play as well. Yeah, e exactly, yeah. And, and everyone is chasing, because it's also a small market, so everyone is chasing the same mm. uh, customers, yeah. you know. Uh, and then number four, even if all that was not the case, there's just the problem of scalability. So if you're talking of, of banners on a website, how many banners can you put there? Yeah. Before people are like, yo, I'm never coming yeah. back here. Yeah, this exactly. You know, so even if they don't, you know, <laughs> even if you say, you know, banner one sentence, banner one sentence, banner, but you run out of sentences. <laughs> you know? So, 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 so yeah, like, um, so there's a ceiling. Yeah. Uh, I was never interested in a business that can only grow so much, you know? What to do crazy things, you know? Uh, so, so scalability was just going to be an issue. Yeah, um, with, with that model in particular. So, so that's why then that model um, uh, was not working for, for us. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, so you said an example of a model that, yeah, that, that's, yeah. that's one. Ultimately didn't. Yeah, so I, so I chose that one because it is the most obvious, you know, like, uh, so, so, I mean, a lot of people say, oh, but they don't take Zim, you know? Add uh, money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah it's not like we haven't thought about that, yeah. you know? It's not like we haven't tried it uh, yeah, in practice yeah, as well. Yeah, you know, so, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, so, so we just then made a delivery choice that, you know what, we will not make money through ads. So when, yeah, here and there, when, the, when, when brands come uh, to say, I have an ad, I mean, like, we, we just, you know, we can put up a, one banner uh, for them just, you know what, they want to reach a market and we do have an audience and they, they're interested in the community that we serve. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we, we, we sell, but 
we we actually don't have any sales team we don't we don't have anyone going out looking for ad business no okay yeah okay and 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 one fantastic model if you have one if you've come upon one so far (laughs) <laughs> fantastic. Well, maybe it's fantastic. You know what? Fantastic then makes it <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the model to solve. Or maybe okay, one model that surprised you in <clears throat> is there is the one where you've you've gone in thinking, let's try it out, and then it's actually better than you expected. Has there been such a, an incident? Um, I don't know about surprise. Yeah. Um. But I'll just say the model that we, we are pursuing right now, yeah. uh, in, um, at least uh, in, in some of our business units, yeah. is, is uh, e- e-commerce. So um, for, you know, like the, this frustration with business models and stuff be- became like a real thing for me in, 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 in 2017, you know, yeah. and, and the question I, I was always asking myself for most of 2017 was, okay, how do I make my community my customers in a more direct way? I don't want to sell them yeah. to, to, to brands yeah. uh, because then we might not be fully aligned there. Um, because of maybe someone is advertising something that that's harmful to my community that I actually don't believe in. Yeah. But they're willing to pay, you know. Um, so how do I move from that and, you know, make this community my customer directly? Um, so we tried, we tried uh, subscription. We didn't do too well with that. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we actually we're, we're going to talk about that. <laughs> yeah, we didn't do too well with that. Uh, I don't think it's because subscriptions, the subscription business model doesn't work. No, not not necessarily. Yeah. Uh, I think, you know, we. Yeah, we we didn't go into it maybe with the seriousness that we needed, but it does have challenges. It's it's, it's a. It, it's 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 a very difficult model oh, to no. build, yeah. Um, so we didn't. So so there's there's a time when we had some mediocre type success, uh, and then we tried to to do reports, sell them and stuff. Me again, mediocre success. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. I was I was there. I was I was actually there during the, the during that time, time when yeah. we when we're doing those <laughs> reports. Yeah. Um, and. Uh, then uh, decided to experiment with e-commerce, you know, sell stuff yeah. to, to, to the community and say, you know what, these people trust us and, 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 and all that. And in fact, for years, people would call us about stuff that we write about. <laughs> No, we just write about this stuff. We don't like, we're and we thought we we're being fancy, you know, but we're being stupid, but right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> because these people were literally Customer. saying, here's my money, guys, take it and give me these things that yeah. you write about, yeah. you know? So, and you would refer people to you, like, yeah, nah, we yeah, be fine. <laughs> yeah, you know, and then, you know, no, no, no. So, yeah, these are reputable suppliers and stuff. Would do that, um, but then realize, ah, but these are people asking us to sell them stuff. So we went into e-commerce, you know, selling the, uh, the stuff that uh, we believe our audience finds use in, and yeah. and yeah, um, you know, success is always measured in the next generation. So I don't know. Uh, yeah. I, ca- I can't how, call it how it right will now. be. Yeah, I don't. I can't call it if it will be a success. Yeah, but or, uh, that's the model. Your current. We are, we are we are we are we are pursuing right now. Yeah, and we, we are happy. Mm. Let's say. Okay, so so in terms of the subscription, because that was actually going to be my my next question, and mm. you. You pretty much answered all of it <laughs> because I was going to ask you that you know in in an article you wrote in, in 2019 you mentioned that subscription was a territory you're interested in, mm. but it would take time and patient capital mm. 
to build the right service and product. Um, so from, from your previous answer, I'm assuming that's not really a, a big focus at the moment. Yeah. So, so, so yeah, at the moment is the right, um, the right, uh, phrase to use. Yeah. Um, because I, I, I still believe there is a potential there. Um, if you're doing differentiated content, that people care about. Uh, so subscription is a model. Essentially what you're asking someone is you're saying, hey, pay me ad in advance every so often. Yeah. And I will promise you that I will deliver this level of quality consistently. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's not selling the pieces of content. Oh. That will be a mistake when you look at it that way. Uh, so, because, you see, content is free on the internet. Like, there's a lot of content that's so out much. there. Yeah. So much. So that's, but you're saying, you know what, there's this level of differentiation and this level of quality and stuff. So what you're doing is you're financing me so that I deliver this consistently. Because the problem is, where do I find the content that I really like, that I'm really interested in. So mm. if it's... In all this... Yes. Okay. So if you're pursuing a subscription model, <laughs> that is the promise you're giving to, to your, your customers. customers. To say, oh, okay, so I write once a week about business models. Yeah. Right? And so if you are interested in that, if that's your thing, then... I'm making you that promise that every week I'm putting in the work deliver. and I will bring you something that is of high quality. Yeah. And therefore, this person is saying, I'll pay you monthly to guarantee that. Um, so it's, 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 it's really powerful. And we, we, we believe there is some content that we do that people really find value in, especially, you know, your decision makers and stuff. Yeah. Um, and I think... At some point, we would we would want to explore it again, um, yeah. maybe as a sub brand or whatever. But uh, I believe there's a gap there. Yeah. Um, and I think yeah, sometimes that is the the beauty of of, of Zoom is that there are so many gaps. <laughs> yeah, they are. They just need mad men and women to, <laughs> to attempt at filling them. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You know, people would just not be afraid to fail. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 And so what I'm going to touch on uh, is something that it irritates me, but I, I always find it fascinating because it's a, it's a topic that's been in discussion for maybe close to a decade now, but it's starting to become like such a huge focus uh, post-COVID and, and that's uh, remote work. Hmm. Uh, during my time at TechZim, uh, you guys... Um, what we had at that moment, and by we I mean Texim, when mm. I was still a part of it, um, we were working remotely. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you still are, mm. uh, but my question would be: <clears throat> This is something that's like been so broadly debated. It's mm. this irritating at this point. Every mm. week there's someone asking, "Hey, productivity, this, mm. uh, finances, that," mm. from people who have been who've put their foot in in those waters. Mm. Um, what were the pros and cons of going remote? And are you still remote? Yeah, so we, we, we still are. Uh, so like you mentioned, like we, we went r full remote before COVID. Before COVID. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, way before. I think, I think COVID found us uh, a, year a year in, in or even, even <laughs> yeah, more. Yeah, it should be a year or more in. Yeah. Um, so the motivations at that time were uh, so... so so you see, like, this, this, it had been a conversation for some time, you know, like, yeah. ah, remote, remote. But I was always fearful, ah, but will people no no work, you know? <laughs> uh, I don't know, but, so. <laughs> you know, and, and then, you know, and, 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 and so, you know, we, we had also a lot of young guys, we don't know, yeah. Yeah. you know, and we always used to say, you know, like, doesn't that give you some kind of so guilt, you know? And, 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 and then one goes, ah, let me leave this. And so we're a little fearful. 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> but what, what did it for me was, um, like there was this December and then I was taking some break. It was Christmas time and I was not going to the office. Yeah. Uh, so I was supposed to be home. But I found myself working. But what I then realized was I was getting more done. Yeah. Whilst I'm not supposed to be <laughs> working, I'm supposed to be enjoying my Christmas break, but I'm getting like, stuff. I was like... In a different world. <laughs> yeah. How's, how's this, you know? I was like, ah, yeah, I started seeing the patterns that, you know, because, you know, we are a very passionate business. We love the stuff that we do. Yeah. But when you have passionate people, yeah, you yeah. tend to waste a lot of time, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, just check out this conversation. I don't know how long it has been going, <laughs> but we're making a lot of noise, you know? 55 minutes so far. <laughs> you see now, you know? <laughs> um, so they would. And it doesn't feel like 55. It doesn't, right? <laughs> yeah. So, so, so there will be that, like, you know? And it feels like work, you know, when you're, but, oh, yeah, we're debating this. Oh, no, this product, the best, so this. Oh, but what? Let me Google this quickly. And before you know it, it's an hour. And you're so tired afterwards because yeah. talking is so tired. Exactly. Well. And then you go back <laughs> home and you feel like you've put in a day's work. Yeah. Um, but, but, you know, you have not really. Tangible. Uh, yeah. You, you know? can't really. Uh, and, and when you're in an office, uh, I don't know, it's, it feels like everything needs the CEO. So even when someone comes and says, hey, dude, that, this, that, 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 right? Like, and then you're like, ah, but you can fix this for yourself, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it didn't take you two minutes to then tell them they can fix it for, by themselves. But they have already interrupted you. Yeah, it's already broken uh, your yeah. flow. So, and, yeah. And, so it takes you 20 to 40 minutes to go back into the flow. Yeah. And as, just as you're getting back into it, the Someone else comes. Like, Yo, what's up? <laughs> yeah, you know, and, 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 and stuff. And, and, and sometimes people would stalk you, you know, like you're going to the kitchen to fix a cup. Uh, and like, yeah, that's my and then, uh, this and my then some of us are talkers, right? Like, so you're, <laughs> you're then stuck in that kitchen. Oh, oh yeah. That, that, Man, that, I remember that. that. Yeah. I remember that kitchen so vividly. You know, that <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we would spend a lot of time in that kitchen. Yeah, you know, spend uh, yeah, maybe an hour minimum every day. Yeah, you know, which is a lot of time. A lot of time. So, <laughs> so that 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 didn't for me. I was like, ah, no, we're wasting a lot of time. And then I started adding up. You know, I was like, ah. and so our office was in Marlborough. Mm. So, <clears throat> a lot of people needed to, you know, move from Commute. like, you know. Uh, way beyond Marlborough. Yeah. And if you're using public transport, that means you, you're using two combis, you know, into town, then town to Marlborough. Uh, so that's like two hours, yeah? Yep. That is already gone. And imagine and commuting now, is if existing. You, if you guys were still commuting now in the day of no combis. Or, yeah. No, it would be crazy, no. right? Yeah. Um, and... For you, so that's just two hours for the commute alone. But for you to commute, you have to prepare, right? You wake up earlier. So that's like three hours for the and, morning. And, 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 and there's a piece of context there, especially for people who are out of, outside of Zim, is yeah. commuting in Zim, ah, it's chaos, man. It's, a, yeah. it's an hour that takes so much peace away from life. <laughs> exactly. You're frustrated by the time when it's on a windy, you know, and, and all that. I, so, was, I was in a Mushika Shika the other day, man. Yeah. And I, for the life of me, I was like, this is this is the most absurd thing I've seen in, mm. in a long time. And I've seen absurd things, man. But the driver had a passenger sitting on his leg on his legs Ooh. as he was driving. I was like, jeez, man. Yeah, that's crazy. I could not <laughs> wait to get out of there. Ah, like, that's what? crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. And so it's things like that where on your way to work, you're thinking, yeah. will I get to work yeah, in you one know, piece? Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> so, so it's just crazy. You know, you have your cops with their spikes, you know, doing crazy things, you know. Um, so, so, <laughs> so, so, yeah, that's, that's a lot. And so then chaos. Yeah. all those conversations during the working hours, then the commute back home, that's all yeah, yeah, time. Yeah. That's just being lost. Four to five hours being yeah. lost in, in and every single day. Yeah, and you're like, oh, okay, we're losing so much in terms of time. And then, but we're an online business. And in, in fact, we're always <laughs> paying people's internet at home. Yeah. 
uh, right? And they like, were then not using it yeah, because so, they've spent so, the whole day. Yeah, you know, so like, <laughs> we're paying people as internet at home, then we give them transport allowance to come and to use come the into the office here. and to use the, the internet. <laughs> and then we're paying rent, and then the, you know, the coffees flip. We're spending hours in the kitchen yeah, doing coffees, yeah, yeah. and then lunch, all these expenses, and you're like, ha! Huh, so much money. <laughs> we're spending money, but the biggest expenditure is on time. Ah, uh, that could be better. And also, then the one of the, the, the things is wake our accountability, it's actually the opposite of what we thought. Yeah, because at the office, it. showing up becomes a result. Oh, yeah, like anyone can just look like that. Yes, now we are Basa, you know. So it is a result. But when you're remote, Jama we did an and do result, you know, because it's not like, yeah, it, it will happen even with you, Farai, when you're there, <laughs> like in the office, like I'm mad, like Farai, you said you were going to do this, and then I'm marching towards yeah. Farai, and then I see Farai is busy, ta -da 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 -da. <laughs> and Farai is looking so <laughs> busy, and like like I start like... looking, feeling like a jerk. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, 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 so yeah, maybe, maybe my target was, like, yeah, it was unrealistic, you know, I, I, I don't know. It's busy. Yeah. I'm like, ah, hey, they buy, and then I'm gone. You know, I don't even say, <laughs> you know. You're, you're certainly like, I was just like, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> hovering over people. Exactly, you know. <laughs> so the tipping with the laptop becomes a result. Yeah. But when you're remote, I'm not seeing that. So as a human yeah. being, I'm not being influenced by what looks, what like, looks work. like work. It's yeah. work itself that comes through. Yeah. So... So that's why the decision for us, and largely it is, it is done that for us. Mm. Largely it is done that for it us. Saves you the time. Yeah. More productive and the finances. Yes, and then accountability. Yeah, I um, that's that on on remote work. The discussion is over. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much, man. This is that's basically everything I I wanted to to hear from you. Yeah. Uh, I've been hounding you for, and you, you guys have been saying no for, uh, since I started this, essentially. Uh, uh, guys, come on, come on, man, come uh, on. Uh, man. No, no. But I don't know, but I don't know who you've been speaking to, but, but yeah. <laughs> ah, I spoke to you before, you know, I'm not an interview guy. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm not. Bikani was worse. Yeah, yeah. Bikani has been worse. But the thing, the beautiful thing about this is... Mm. Uh, uh, with Limbikani now, he has no excuse because he always used to keep saying go to Tinashe and well now that's, he can't play that card anymore. He <laughs> well, has to Tinashe get, has been on the show. Yeah, he has to get more creative in his, <laughs> in his sick leaves yeah. and whatnot. I don't know how he's going to do it, but yeah. if it means me going to Bloweo mm. <laughs> to I get know. that episode out of him. <laughs> I, I, it's, it's been fun. I like, uh, thank you so thanks much for for, for insisting that I come. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, so so we're content creators, right? So we are used to being on the other side. That uh, happens so much with creators, even myself. As hypocritical as it is, yeah. So many people were requesting, and I was saying, nope. I don't do interviews. And yeah. then I sat down, I was like, mm, mm, this is a yeah. bit... Your karma, right? You're, you're, a bit, you're being a bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> Why yeah. do you get angry when people then say they can't come to you? Yeah. Since yeah. then, I, I now do as much as I can. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, thanks so much. Hey. And, and all the best for the rest of the year and going forward with uh, TechZM and, and the rest of the businesses. Yeah, thanks, man.